You guys, I have a 101, and today I'm going to be presenting a map called Centennial by Lex. If you guys watched the four Forge Island map previews, and this was going to be one of them, but uh, now I'm going to go a little bit in depth about this map specifically and what it all brings and what kind of gameplay it has. So this is a 12 to 16 player um, big team battle map. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys know this or not, but um, I don't know what's wrong with Halo 4 in this way, but for some reason, if you have more than 12 players, then usually your lobby is going to have lots of black screens and stuff like that. Um, this didn't happen as much in Reach, it still did happen in Reach, but I don't know, Halo 4 in, in particular has a lot of black screens and stuff, at least in my lobbies, and when we're playing with my friends. So I'd recommend staying to about 12 maximum, you know, 10, 12 players. That's when I would want to play this map. So this is a really interesting map because it's kind of like Exile in that way, where it's kind of got the infantry route in the middle and then it's the base on the other side. But personally, I think it's a bit better than Exile just because Exile has a Gossog and a tank and a Banshee and sniper rifles and spawn raping. And yeah, I'm not going to get into Exile and my hatred for it. But um, yeah, overall, I think this map um, has a great design. Uh, I, I love the, the mesh between the infantry and the vehicles on this. And uh, we use my competitive slash arena game type. Uh, we have a bunch of different names for it because all the people who like the game type, we've all been making slight modifications to it the entire time, like very tiny things and renaming it to something different. So right now I have one called um, Competitive. Uh, my one friend Spider-Man who made Ghosted has Arena and Lex uses um, uses um, Classic is what he calls his. So we're, we're all working together to try and make one. Uh, default game mode and we'll put them on our file shares eventually but this is just an overview of the map so you can kind of get the layout um, so the bases are pretty much exactly opposite of each other and uh, you know I really like this map because the aesthetics it really goes back to that Halo 1 Halo 2 type feel more Halo 1 though I'd say it's very uh, Halo 1 in, in its aesthetics and stuff like that um, heading some first person gameplay uh, we're gonna try to see if we can make some pushes against the flag and uh, I, I really like this map because um, each base is it's balanced, but they both have their own disadvantages. So the um, the blue the blue base, the one that we're spawning at, um, it has a disadvantage that um, the middle route, the infantry route, has a very clean and clear line of sight into the base, and so that makes it really hard to hold from the infantry and, and such. Whereas the um, red base, it is for the most part you can't you can't actually get a line of sight from the um, middle area but um, it's just in general more open so it can take it, it's uh, it can take lots of fire from vehicles and infantry and and stuff like that so each base has its own disadvantage which is which is really interesting it's nice it mixes up the gameplay depending on what team you are and it, it is balanced um, this game we had uh, it was tied to be uh, two uh, flag caps each so um, you know it was it's very balanced map very balanced game and I would definitely recommend downloading it so in the game mode, uh, you start out with battle rifles and magnums. Now, BRs and magnums, um, originally I was going to say assault rifles, but I'm actually starting to agree with other people that it should be magnum, because there's something so satisfying about, um, you know, having your magnum, switching it out for an assault rifle, and just getting a whole pile of kills with it when you're in close quarters. It, uh, it, just, it just works better that way, because you can get, um, when you pick up certain weapons, it becomes more powerful. Uh, on the map, then you can pick up light rifles and carbines and other such things as well as some other power weapons. And uh, there's no custom loadouts, and there's no personal ordnance, there are no armor abilities, although I might start adding them as pickups to some of my maps. That's going to be an idea I'm going to start experimenting with when I get on, when I go to an Xbox in just a second. I'm going to start to modify a couple of my maps. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely uh, recommend downloading this, um, this game mode. Uh, if you guys are going to be forging any new competitive maps, um, just I want to see if you guys would maybe just try it out. Try out setting it up for this game mode. All you really gotta do is make it like a reach map, except you just use ordnance as power for the power weapons instead of, you know, uh, just weapon placements. Uh, I, I don't know. Me and my friends, we seem to really like it. I, I'm kind of sick of Infinity. Like, I don't know. Like in this game mode, you can get in a warthog and you feel like you're in a powerful position. You know, you feel that you have an advantage over people because you're not just gonna get stunned and stuck like in 30 seconds. And, and that's what, you know, that's what I really like about this, you know, when you see a ghost and you're like an infantry and it's approaching you, then, you know, you're scared because it's it's gonna kill you. There's no stopping it from, from getting you, really. So, I mean, I, I really like experimenting with these types of things and I think that we found a really good balance 
And I, you know, I honestly, I know that everyone kind of wishes for a playlist with their own maps and game mode and stuff like that. And but I really wish there was something similar to this game mode in Halo 4's normal matchmaking. And maybe Legendary Slayer will be like that because that's coming out um, pretty soon. But yeah, I, I really wish they had you know a, a game mode like this because. Literally, we, we get into lobbies sometimes, me and my friends, and we play Infinity on certain maps, and we can't enjoy it anymore. It's almost impossible to enjoy default Infinity stuff now. Anyways, that's going to be it for uh, this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode when it comes out.